Good morning to you on this Saturday morning. We continue now with 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. This is the confidence which we have before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests which we have asked from him. Jesus said, anything you ask in my name, the Father will do. And John unpacks it a little bit for us, reminding us that if we ask anything according to his will. So really, when we pray, we should be asking God what his will is. How does he want us to pray? What does he want us to pray for? And then if we pray according to his will, then we receive whatever we ask from him. We don't always receive it straight away. Someone has once said that the hardest place to find yourself is in God's waiting room. You know God has led you to pray in a certain way for somebody or for something. You know that you have it, but you have to wait for it to be fulfilled. It's only when we look back and we can see with hindsight that the time in the waiting room was necessary because God had to arrange certain things to put certain things in place. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, who are called according to his purposes. This is the confidence we have before him. We trust in him. We have confidence before him. We rely on him in faith. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And we know if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests which we have asked from him. We have a loving heavenly father. We can trust in him. We can know that he knows best. So the best place to be is within his will to ask that his will would be done. Ask him to show you how to pray, what you should pray for, how you should pray. He will lead you. He will guide you. And then you have the confidence that you know that he hears that prayer, that he answers that prayer. And his answer is always the correct one. God is sovereign. He knows all things. He works all things for the best. And you may say, well, why do I have to pray then? We pray because when we pray, we align ourselves with God's will. We place ourselves in that place where we are in the flow of the Spirit. We are in the flow of His will. And when we are aligned with Him, then He can really work and flow through us and use us for His purposes. So that's why we pray. We pray that His will be done, that His kingdom would come. And then we align ourselves up with that will and with his kingdom. And we know that if we ask for things according to his will, we know that we receive them. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it wonderful to know, to be able to know that we are already living in eternal life. We have eternal life when we have faith in Jesus. We know that we have everything that we need because he provides for us. Let's thank him. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bless, thank and praise you again today. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you've given us your word to lead us, to guide us, to shape us, to mold us, to strengthen us, to show us your way. We praise you, Lord. Help us to pray always according to your will. So our prayer, Lord, is that your will be done, that your kingdom would come, that you would show us how to pray in all circumstances and situations. We have some things that you have told us very clearly. You have told us to pray for our governments and all in authority, that we may live peacefully. So, Lord, we pray for our government. We pray, Lord, that you would just give them the sense to govern correctly, that they would be honourable, that they would be honest and true. Give them a backbone. Unite the nations of the world, Lord, against this evil power that is invading the Ukraine. We pray, Lord, that you would just turn them around and send them home. We pray that you would just thwart all the plans of the enemy. We pray for your mercy. We pray for those who have died, for those who are suffering. For those, Lord, who are in despair, who are fleeing, who find themselves without home. Lord, we thank you for those that are caring for them and ministering to them. Strengthen the hands that are weak. Here in Australia, we pray, Lord, for those who are suffering again. We have issues with the weather. We have issues with the virus. We have so many things going on all around us. In the world, there is trouble. You said in the world, there is trouble, but be of good cheer, for I've overcome the world. We pray for someone that doesn't know that yet. We pray for someone that has not yet accepted you as Lord and Saviour, that this would be the day. Lord, we just commit all to you. We pray for those who are in despair, for, for the weak, for the sick, the dying. We pray, Lord, for the needy. And we pray for each other. We pray for ourselves. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to walk in your will and in your ways. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk 
in your truth. And hear us now as we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.